Hey guys, welcome to this fitness day. We're going to do another hit workout. We're going to target the back, okay? Remember, subscribe to this fitness and hit the notification bell so you never miss a workout ever again. Anyway, so the idea behind this, guys, we're going to use light dumbbells. We're going to do three exercises for 20 seconds each, and we're going to do that four times, and then we change up the exercises. Now, doing the back's kind of tricky with dumbbells because we don't have a pulley system to, to work on those lats, so we're going to try and attempt to replicate it on the floor using some dumbbells, okay? So, first things first, we're going to start with a bend over row for 20 seconds. Then we're going to do some YW arms in the prone position, and after that, we're going to do some high rows. Okay, so let's get those dumbbells get ready to start. Remember, you don't need crazy heavy dumbbells, or if you have some uh, heavier ones and some lighter ones, have them both on standby, okay? Because some might feel a bit easier with lighter dumbbells, but again, some might feel impossible with the heavy ones, okay? So we're going to start in 10 seconds here, and we're going to start with our bend over rows. We're coming back to bend over rows a little later, but for these ones, we're going to keep the back flat, and we're going to keep the heads of the dumbbells facing forward. And away we go. We're just going to really focus on squeezing the shoulder blades back, engaging those rhomboids, keeping the back nice and flat, and don't let the dumbbell pull your shoulders too far forward. So if you do that, you're going to lose your posture. So keep the uh, shoulders engaged, pull the shoulder blades back throughout. Okay, now this one, we're down on our front. We take the dumbbells out front and we're replicating a lat pull down. So we're going to squeeze this back in a Y position into a W, just like so. Raise your upper body up as you do. Squeeze those lats. Again, this one's tougher than it looks, so we use some light dumbbells for this. And stop. Now we're gonna go into a high row. We'll get the dumbbells like so. Keep the elbows up high. And bring it up towards your chin with the elbows up nice and high. This could technically be a shoulder exercise as well, but we're gonna throw it into the back workout today. And stop. Now we're going back to those bend over rows. So first lap done, three more to go. So Feet hip width apart, knees soft, back flat. Don't fully lock out your arms. And squeeze those shoulder blades together. Try not to push your shoulders forward while you do it, okay? Really fight the urge to let those shoulders pronate forward. And when we bring it back, try and squeeze it. Don't just yank it up really quick. And don't just let it free fall back down again. And stop, now we're back into the YW arms. Okay, trying to replicate a lat pull down of sorts here. So from here, we're going to squeeze it in and back it. And stop, now we're going into a high rope. So again, keep those elbows in nice and, or keep those elbows nice and high throughout this one. Just pull it up. At the end of this workout, we'll target all the muscle grips in the back. And like I said, it's a tricky um, step. It's a tricky muscle grip to hit without a chin-up bar or that lat pull down. But you got some dumbbells and a bit of creativity, you can make it work. And away we go. And stop now. Back into those wide over the arms. Let's go. Just really engage those lats when you're doing this. Really try and squeeze them back. Keep the shoulders pulled back. So we're engaging the lats. And stop and back up. 
and those high rows. And away we go. You get this into the upper back and traps area. Again, as I said, it could be thrown into a shoulder workout, but we're going to use it with the back today. Okay, now we're on to our last lap of these and we change up the exercises. And three, two, one, away we go. Back flat, shoulders pinned back. Don't let the arms lock out. Make sure those shoulders aren't dropping forward. So always be in control of the dumbbells. Really focus on squeezing those shoulder blades back at the scapula, pin back, squeezing the rhomboids in between the scapula, and step now into the YW arms. Three, two, one, and away. And if you can't do this with dumbbells, if it's too much for you guys, you can take a broomstick or just do it with your arms rather than dumbbells in your hand and then build up to get some dumbbells into the mix. Okay, up we go. Now we're going into our high rows next. Three, two, one, and away we go. And stop. Okay, that's the first set of exercises done. Up next, we got some bent over rows again, only we're going to change the angle. So rather than heads of the dumbbells facing forward, we're going to turn the knuckles and the nails pointing forward and squeeze them like so. Okay, just catch a different area ever so slightly. Now after that, we're going to go into reverse snow angels. Reverse snow angels. Same position as the YW arms. Only from here, what we do is we take our hands, just imagine you're doing a jumping jack on the floor or a snow angel, we squeeze back. No dumbbells needed for this one. And if you can do dumbbells with that, then fair play to you. I wouldn't be able to do it. Right, then after that we got some renegade rows. Renegade rows and push up position. And we try not to move the hips too much on the alternate from side to side. Okay, well, can't put this off any longer. Let's get into those bend over rows. In 10 seconds, so back flat, shoulders pinned back, nails pointing forward, and once again, focus on squeezing those shoulder blades back and targeting the muscles in between. And step. Now we're going into our reverse snow angels on our front. Arms stretch out in front. Just keep your eyes on the mat. You lift your upper body up, but don't pull your neck up. And up we go. Breathe out as you're coming up. Keep the arms straight. Draw back those shoulders. Squeeze those lats. And you'll feel it's getting your lower back also. And stop. Now we're going into the renegade rows. Push up position with the feet slightly wider than usual. And alternate side. And as little movement in the hips as possible. And really squeeze those up as tight as you can. Rather than just lifting them off two centimeters off the ground. Stop. Good job. Back to your bend over rows. Three, two, one, and let's go.
And stop. Back to reverse new angels. And let's go. Up. I'm back to the Renegade Rose. Working up a sweat now, it's good. Three, two, one, and let's go. Up. We're halfway there. Just two more laps to go. Soften the knees, tilt from the hips, and let's go. And stop, back to the snow angels. Again guys, if you find any of this easy, use heavier dumbbells if you've got them at your disposal. All right, let's go. Up, pack those renegade rows. And away we go. Up and nails pointing forward in position, and let's go. And stop. And back to the snow angels. And let's go. Remember to keep those palms facing the ground. Try and keep the arms straight. And try not to. Look forward, keep your eyes on the mat and just lift your upper body up. One last set of running in rows and we're done. Three, two, one, let's go. Okay, got a good sweat up there. And remember, this weren't very, very heavy weights either. Just nice and light, try and do it right. So, guys, hope you like the video today. Again, it's a tough muscle grip to hit without the aid of equipment. But if you know what you're doing and get creative, you can make it work. So, let us know what you think of the uh, workout, guys. Leave your comments below. Remember, we got 240 videos down here. Free to choose from, something for everybody on there. Hit the notification bell, hit the subscribe button. And if you like what you saw today, we got a six week shred program. Six weeks, full routine, using just light dumbbells, getting you the best shape of your life. Well, that's enough for me. Stay safe, I'll see you real soon.